Hello friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we might actually get to the animatronics part, because I'm playing FNAF Pizzeria Simulator without actually getting to the animatronic part, and I'm just stalling. So, let's take a look over here. I have $225 from all of the duck picking up. I can buy the Sturdy Stage Extended. And now I have $25, but... Ta-da! I cannot put anything on there. Wonderful. Anyway, so I now have a beautiful stage with absolutely nothing on it. But, you know, a stage is better than no stage. Can't we put Mr. Bucket on there? Mr. Bucket! Does anyone remember that toy slash game? Where it would, you'd put the little balls into the bucket and then he'd fire them out and then you'd have to pick them up and put them back into him? You're Mr. Bucket now. Or at least until I forget your name. Because that will happen. Anyway, I'm finished. It's time to actually start this game. Are you excited? Your restaurant you is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do nope. while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Yeah, this Money is what happens when you accept sponsorships. You end cash. up having these so don't worry ads. About it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose okay, to you shift upgrade by leaning any of the over equipment in left your and right. Now, onto other matters. Left Something right, to be aware of the, is the that the ventilation not system the in your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to oh, it. That's the catch. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Okay. So, I know I was talking a bit in, at the beginning of that, but the way that I see like Markiplier and GT Live play this game, I'm not exactly certain how any of these work and that introduction does not help clear things up too much. I think I can scan... I think I have one of three powers here, where this I can divert one of the animatronics if they're getting close, try to lead them away. This one helps to make it so that the um, fan here does not uh, make too much noise, uh, if noise is a problem. And this one, I could just turn it on, and then it'll let me know if any of the animatronics, or like wherever they are, so I can either figure out where they are, divert them, or try to increase my chances of not getting attacked. So there are three different choices. That's good. This room is pretty interesting. There's little kids drawings on the left and right of it. And uh, there's a uh, scary Pennywise on the left. Lots of people probably made that joke. And uh, we have a little Freddy, or uh, looks more like Golden Freddy. Whoop. Uh, over on the left here, right behind the little drinking straw, and that creepy animatronic that for some reason a kid decided to draw and you keep by your desk, you'll probably see him later. You most likely will. You will definitely see him later. Like I had... Now, I had made a mistake before thinking that the animatronic baby at the beginning, um, w like you get the animatronics at the beginning of the day, you actually get them at the end of the day. So there are no animatronics here. So if any of you are getting tense thinking, oh no, I'm talking and something's going to pop out and kill us at any time, no, we're perfectly safe here. There are no animatronics besides little Freddy. And he squeaks. Now, I don't know what the little fan is doing, because I'm clicking it and it's not doing anything. I'm clicking that little power button. Oh. You see, my screen brightness is not the greatest brightness in the world. It says to activate those with Z and X. So I can shut off the fan. Oh, and there's a temperature. Oh, that's where the temperature is. I remember them 
in like other let's plays saying how there's a temperature and it's getting it to be a certain uh level and like it would be, get too bad and i wasn't sure where the temperature was i thought they were just like psychic or they were seeing something that i was missing and they were seeing something i was missing um on the bottom right corner there's a tiny little temperature thingamajig i'm so sorry you're watching this probably for all of the exciting five nights at freddy's action but you're getting none of that and z turns off the power and I press Z again to turn back on the power. And I turn the power back on. I press Z. Okay. Okay. So it's super easy to turn off the power. I just click Z and then poof, it's just done. Uh... Okay, so I have to click Z, and then it takes a little while before hitting Z again ends up bringing the computer back up. See, these are little things that you don't normally get to uh, hear about when people are playing FNAF. They just kind of speed through this, but not in the slowest Five Nights at Freddy's playthrough in the world. Oh, okay, no. Um, you have to wait a little while before you can turn the computer back on again. So it's not pressing Z and then it comes on at any point. After you, after you wait a certain period of time, then you press Z and it turns right back on again. Wow. We are already almost seven minutes into this video. And I have done virtually nothing. But I will order supplies through the computer. Amazon Prime, you're amazing. I can only do one of these at a time. Oh, it has the dial-up noises. My grandmother used to have a dial-up computer. She had a dial-up laptop, actually. So we'd plug in a little phone line and we get to go on the internet there. It was super slow and not good at all. We are much luckier to not have dial-up anymore as the primary internet service. Ordering utensils and pizza kits. Oh, so we just, we don't really make the pizza on the premise, we just buy pizza kits. Now available at your local, uh, Think Geek. They sell Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria, um, pizza kits at the place. Oh, I could, these are the upgrades. So I can buy a printer to print more, high speed uplink, and hire a handyman. Yeah, I'm already Handington, I'm already a pretty handyman myself. Advertising. Print flyers. I'm gonna print some stuff. This is gonna be a problem when I have more animatronics here, because I can't just do it at my own leisure. Man, it takes a while to print flyers. I will need that speed-up printer. Because from what I could see in the game, um, or the when the gameplay really starts up, uh, I'm gonna have to wait for these to finish and then I'm able to turn it off, and then this way they can't see me. But if I turn off the power, which I believe helps in some way, I think turning off the vents would actually help me more. Uh, then I have to worry about the temperature. Turning off the computer won't allow me to use the other things here. Wait a minute. Okay, see, it's good that I'm figuring this out, because it's not just these three things, and then I can have the task running in the background. I have to be here the entire time. I can't use the vent, audio, or motion detection at any point while these are going. So, I'm going to need to wait. Because this game also, unlike the other Five Nights at Freddy's games, there's no timer. You get to finish it at your own pace. However, your own pace is dictated by how fast you're able to get these completed. Replace bulbs, clean ovens, and unclog toilets. From my computer. I don't think I'm just telling some guy to, like, fix this. I think I like to think that I'm just unclogging the toilets from my computer. I'm just like, toilets, flush! And then the toilets are just like, okay, and then they flush, because, you know, the other animatronics here have eyes. Why not the toilets, too? There's many reasons as to why not the toilets. Let's clean the oven. Now, there are, I believe, self-cleaning ovens that actually, like, heat up uh, to a super high amount, so this, that, uh... 
extra stuff caked on there kind of melts off. Which you'd think, well, if it's already burned cheese or something, that if you heat it up more, would it just get more burned? Or, like, how would that work? I don't think self-cleaning ovens really work too well. But the most impressive thing here is replace light bulbs remotely. I'd like to imagine that you're replacing the um, the light bulbs by having this giant, like, anima animatronic arm just reach into uh, a little box of light bulbs. It, it, it's just like a giant box full of unused light bulbs. First it would reach up into the um, light socket, and then it would unscrew the bad light bulb, and then it would pull that out, put it into another little box off to the side of it, and then it would reach into the new brand, new happy light bulbs. They probably have faces too, because everything has faces here. Yay. And then it would reach into it and then screw in the light bulb up on the top of the ceiling, and then that's just what I gotta do. I gotta wait for it to finish. That's why it takes forever, just like me taking forever, to actually get to anything interesting. But, fear not, uh, we're actually going to... Uh, how many times can I say actually in a sentence? I... <sighs> but fear not, because I'm going off to the next Good night. Job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Yay! Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Yes. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Saturday, a week. So it'll be seven nights at Freddy's. As usual. Well, we're finally doing something else interesting, guys. Congratulations on completing your first day. Thank you. However, your job isn't over just yet. Of course not. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine. Oh, there's that Freddy. Is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often. And while we aren't sure why, Pedro, we do know the orange salesman. Parts, he comes by and he drops off crates of oranges. Starting your next day. He's like, I can't of sell course, these oranges. With he leaves them in, of work, in the alleyway. And then sometimes the animatronics appear. To to did he bring outside. them there? Did they but come on their own power? Did, no did they come because they wanted the oranges in the crates that he gets extra? The and they'll go bad if he can't sell them, which he can't, so he gives them to us? We're a pizzeria restaurant. So, we can't actually use any of the oranges because we have nothing that requires oranges. We're a pizzeria restaurant. You probably want to hear what he's saying, don't you? Check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, well, it, he's going to repeat it, I believe, you. each and every night. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. There we go. you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origin. Pedro, he's it the origin. To complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it. So this is the note sheet. Payment. Please make your choice now. Oh, can't look at the note sheet while well, I have to choose. So, I can either salvage it and go into the full-fledged minigame, which you saw a little bit of with Baby at the beginning. However, um, you could also choose to just throw it out and then not have an animatronic in your building. Uh, you can do this for each of the other animatronics. And it's a very interesting mechanic. So you know what I'm going to do? It is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, after all. I could salvage it. No. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, it's Five Nights at Freddy's without Freddy or anything scary. It's the most mundane. No lawsuits. Hooray! I have... My restaurant is the embodiment of John Arbuckle. It is just mild and bland and quite pleasant. Yay! Oh, little Freddy is so happy. Nothing scary at all is happening. You might have been interesting to see. Oh, a salvage. What could that be? Nope. But we're going to have Mr. Hugs because his name is Mr. Hugs. How can we not have him in my restaurant, my establishment? Mr. Can Do. All right, we need to look at some of these other things. We have the Spongebob Mr. Gumball Swivel Hands, Neon Stage Lights, Sturdy Stage, Happy Frog Marked Down. Oh, Mr. Hippo, a liability risk of four. You're almost as dangerous as real hippos in real life. 
Almost. Ned Bear. Liability risk of one. But you're you're Ned Bear. We love you, Ned Bear. Hello ho. You're gonna buy me or what, neighborino? I sure like the cut of your gibberish. Cohen Dudley Oodley. Oodley Oodley. Oodley Doodley Oodley. Noodley Doodley Doodley Doodley. Shoney Oodley Doodley Atner. Maple Adley. Doodley 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 Doodley. Well, you make a good point, Ned Bear. Oh, today is Tuesday. Yay! I didn't read that at the beginning. Well, it may not be the Lord's Day, but it sure is a great day to buy animatronics. Yay! Not buying Pig Patch. Oh, Candy Cadet, we need you in our restaurant. One day, my friends, we will get Candy Cadet. Alright, let's see what other incredible, interesting animatronics we can put in here. Bucket Bob. How can you say no to a face like that? We're getting you. Come on board, Bucket Bob. Mr. Can Do, you're a literal garbage can. But, if you had to throw away stuff, this would be a lot of fun to throw away. It's much more interesting than other basic garbage cans. We can buy number one crate! Yay! Pan Stan. Oh, he is a frying pan with a face drawn on him. Alright, Grunkle Stan, you're on board. I'm gonna teach this bear! to drive. Well, I've prattled on long enough. I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone, and this is Handington, signing off. Bye!